Hey again. Um, so today we are gonna do um, the R lab for LDA linear discriminant analysis, quadratic discriminant analysis, QDA, and KNN for classification. Uh, last time we did logistic regression, and we did that on the S market data. Um, we were trying to predict the direction of the stock market based on different variables. Um, so let's go ahead and run our code from logistic regression. We're going to make sure that our um, the library mass and ASLR are uh, loaded. Um, this is where our data set is and this is needed for uh, the various functions in our program. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, split our data set Again, if you, um, like we talked extensively in the previous video on logistic regression, how to split the data set into, into training and test uh, data set. So I'm just going to run this code here. Um, and this is the logistic regression uh, code we did last time. So I'm, I'm running this in order to um, get uh, this uh, classification error rate, which is approximately 44.04 percent I'm gonna record it, it here so for this particular data set L, uh, logistic regression gave, gave us a, a classific misclassification error of 44.04 percent so let's see how the other methods are gonna do on this particular um, uh, data set so let's start with LDA logistic uh, or linear discriminant analysis um, I'm gonna call it LDA model we're going to use the LDA function that will compute uh, the linear that will do the, the analysis for us. So um, it's the same. It takes a formula, which is direction, and that's what we are trying to predict. Um, we are going to use only two variables, lag one and lag two. The data set has more than one variable, but we discussed this last time, so we decided to just use lag one and lag2 and we're gonna run this on the training data set so data is equal to training data training data is what we split here uh, when we split the S, S market I remember that the training data is the data that is before 2005 so it's, that's 2001 through 2004 uh, years so we ran the LDA model um, now, so here we, we can think of this as if we fit the LDA model based on the training data set. So that now we trained our model. Next we want to evaluate or assess our uh, model or validate it. So we can say uh, validate the LDA model using the testing data set. The testing data set was from year 2000 for only year 2005. To do this testing, first of all, we need to do predictions for the year 2005 using the LDA model that we created here. So um, uh, let's call the variable LDA predict. So we'll see this is what LDA predicted as, di as the direction. Um, and we're using the function predict, giving it the model, LDA model, that we have created here. And we are going to predict the direction for the testing uh, data set. So we're going to say testing data as our data set. So again, here you don't have to specify its data. You can just get rid of that if it is the second argument in your function. Now we, we did our prediction and everything seems to be fine. Um, the next thing is um, here in LDA it's different from logistic regression because LDA directly predicts the direction, the categorical variable, variable whether it's up or down. In logistic regression it was predicting the probabilities and then we had to create these vectors in order to change um, you know, um, these probabilities to the categorical uh, or the, to the categories up or down. And here, if you look at what's inside LDA predict, it's actually a vector or a list that has three, uh, 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 three parts in it. 
if you want to access the class that will give you the predicted class so um, I would probably call this LDA predicted uh, direction since we are predicting the direction uh, that would be LDA predict which is this variable that we have here and in order to access the class we're going to use the dollar sign and that actually should give us the ups and downs so if you look at head of LDA predicted direction that should be ups and downs so the first five or the first few observations are all uh, predicted to be up we can also create the confusion matrix oh, I should be here. Um, confusion matrix just the same way we did it in um, logistic regression uh, by tabulating the LDA predicted direction with the testing direction that we created at the beginning. So here now it's comparing the predicted values to the actual values. Ooh, table. I don't know how to write table. Okay, so now that's the um, confusion matrix. Also we can, this is the last thing that we need, is to compute the misclassification error. So I'm going to do the mean of when this is going to be different from the direction testing. And that actually gave us exactly the same as what logistic regression gave us. So for this particular data set, LDA and logistic regression um, are doing the same. So there is no improvement here. Let's see what QDA would give us. Um, the same thing. We're going to fit the model. I'm going to call it QDA model. Um, that's QDA. And then we are predicting direction from lag 1 and lag 2 based on the training data. So it's the same code as LDA, but instead of using LDA, we're using QDA function. Okay, next we need to do the prediction. So QDA predict. So predict. We need to predict using the QDA model we created on the testing data. Oops. And then we can uh, tabulate uh, our, uh, or first of all, we need to get the direction. So QDA. Uh, predicted direction would be QDA predicted we are using getting the class and then we are I'm gonna actually copy this put it here so instead of LDA now it's QDA and then we can get the mean the same way instead of QDA, L LDA, it's QDA. QDA did better, it's 40%, so 40.07% our misclassification error. That's perfect. Let's see what KNN is going to do for us. Now KNN here, it's a bit different model or it's a di different uh, way in modeling in R. Uh, the library we're going to use to use the KNN function, it's called class, and Okay, if you if you try to see what K and N takes as argument, the first argument is train. Here I just hit the tab, and um, the first argument is train. It's a matrix. Test is also a matrix, so this is the testing data, uh, and this is CL, which is the classification, the uh, true training set, and K is what would be uh, our uh, how many neighbors we're looking at. So first of all, we need to look at the training data and the testing data. But but as we we talked in class, that we need to standardize the data set, because remember when we talked about um, you know if we have variables such as age and uh, income, 
to KNN, the income or the difference of income of five hundred dollars is way bigger compared to the difference in an age if we have sixty years or seventy years. But if you think of you, uh, you know, if you think of it like seventy years in age is bigger, you know, compared to five hundred dollars, right? So in order to and since the KNN deals with distances, um, then we have to standardize and make everything has the same unit. So we need to look at standardized data, STD data. We standardize by scaling the S market data set. And since we are dealing with only the two lags, so we're just gonna look at the uh, two and three. So two and three will give you the uh, lag number two and lag number uh, uh, three. Standardize the data. Now we split training data. That's gonna be the STD data. Again, I choose bad names. It's uh, standardized data. And then we are going to do that with the train. Remember, the train is defined here. So it's a vector defined at the beginning. Uh, the same thing, testing data, STD data, and that's only for testing. Okay, we get the training data and the testing data. Now the third argument is actually the training direction and not the testing direction compared to the previous ones. So we need to look at what's the training direction and we can get that from the direction um, variable or sorry, uh, vector. We get that. Now we can do the prediction K and N predicted direction. K and N actually is going to directly give us the class. So we just say K and N. The first argument is a matrix, which is the training data. The second argument is the testing data. The third argument is the training direction. And the fourth argument is how much K. K, if let's say we start with K equal to 3. Let's see what we have here. We have an error, testing error, training direction. Dimension of test and train are... Um, I'm going to pause a little bit. All right, I'm back here. Um, so the error that we had, um, since here we're specifying training data, apparently it wasn't looking at this training data that we specified here because we called it tray whatever data so training it's missing i n okay i'm gonna rerun that and rerun this now should it should work fine um and next we can create the confusion matrix table and then uh you know the confusion matrix is gonna be between what we predicted from the k and n and the direction testing now. And finally, we can look at the mean when this is going to be misclassified or different from direction testing. Now, if you feel like you're watching this video and you probably didn't watch the previous videos, um, and you know and if you feel like you don't know what's direction testing or training data please go ahead and look at you know previous videos when we talked about uh, linear regression and logistic uh, regression now this K and N produced an error rate of 46.42 when K is equal to 3 so 46.42 percent and that's when K is equal to 3 so the lowest so far is the QDA. Also we can, you know, maybe if we change the K, instead of having three, we can maybe make it eight. Looking at eight neighbors at the same time, we run, we rerun this. Didn't do better, like the misclassification was 55%. Um, maybe if we do five, if you don't want to go this much high, still it's 51 percent so um so far like um you know the 
on this particular data set, the misclassification error was the least.